Okay, so in this uh, section, we're going to be working on the feed, which is, uh, you know, the news feed of uh, Facebook or the Twitter feed. Um, basically, it's what you see as all the message posts that, um, that you have posted and that your friends have posted. And for this, we're going to use um, an approach that has been uh, popularized by uh, Twitter and uh, other um, social applications that I've worked in uh, both personally and, and, and professionally have used this, uh, this model and um, so basically it's called fan out and uh, let me uh, do some a uh, little bit of uh, whiteboarding for you to understand what would that looks like okay so let's explain what the fan out is uh, actually looks like so you're gonna have always kind of like this um, this queue of messages or a, a collection of, of messages that all these users are putting in into this uh, into this table and that's going to be like our main like messages um, messages table and but what happens is um, each one of these users so this is user one user two user three they actually don't look or or, or receive that messages table but they actually get a version of it that's tailored to them and what that means is that user a might be seeing you know this message is here but user b might be seeing a completely different string of of, uh, of messages and what that um depends or or what what the factor is to to see the different uh, messages is the relationship they have with with other users and um, and if they follow each other or, the, or if they're friends so what happens is whenever let's say this is user um, one this is user two and this is user three and then here we have one two three and this is their feed this is what they look uh, they see when when they look log, log on to the to the to the site what's happening is let's say user one posted this message here and let me uh, put a little color here so I'm gonna say uh, see red okay so this user put this this message here right user one now what happens is if the first thing is we're gonna have that that message appear on users one's feed because you know he wants to see his own thing but we're going to do a process that goes and says, OK, get me all the friends that user one has and, and copy that message, but not the whole message, just a pointer to it and, and put it on, 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 the, on that user's um, on that user's feed. So, for example, let's say that user uh, user two follows user one. He will see that message here. OK, the one that the user one put. But if user three is not following user one, then he won't see that message. And so now what happens if we have um, uh, user two now is posting a message, right? And it goes into the database here, okay? Now what happens here? User one doesn't follow user two, so he doesn't see that message. But user three does follow user two so user three will see the message and user two will see it as well and so on so that that's why this is called a a, a fan out because what essentially what's happening here is that um, you have a, a a main messages uh, table that's fanning out that's copying things to the to the different uh, to the different tables of those users and they are seeing the content that um, that there's that they are supposed to be seeing but not the ones that they're not they're not supposed to, to be seeing and why is this scalable why is this um, makes it easier for for you to um, to scale the application because essentially what happens is that each user has control of their own feed and they can uh, basically hide or act, you know, kind of act on those messages. 
um, but it's a representation of the actual, the, the, you know, the whole uh, messages uh, table. And, uh, and also what happens is if we start following a user, then we see his messages. And if we start following him, we stop seeing the messages. But the uh, operation when the, when the actual application is rendering and you're, you're going to see your, your feed, um, it doesn't have to go and do a huge query because think that this, this could be, you know, 15 billion records, right? So getting a query that says, oh, give me the messages of the uh, users that follow user one from this record. So it's a query and uh, that's very expensive and it's going to, you know, take a, lo a long time. So instead, what the, uh, what the application is going to do here is we're going to have the application go directly to the uh, to the feed table and it's going to be a very uh, uh, efficient query because it's it's n it's not going to uh, have to query all these millions of or billions of records it's going to um, uh, hit this very small uh, small table and typically what um, twitter and other uh, social applications do is they don't keep all the messages they actually keep like a, a number of them and i don't remember exactly what the limit is but let's say it's you know 15 days worth and after those 15 days the these uh tables are are cropped because you know when when is the last time you went 15 days back into looking at your feed like it's not it's not very very common so um that's why it's it's also very efficient because you always know you're going to have you know an amount or a set amount of records and your your table's not going to grow uh, exponentially